at the right way to store and contain hazardous materials. For safety and environmental reasons, it is the law to properly contain all hazardous materials. Store hazardous liquids, solvents, used antifreeze, used brake and transmission fluid, and acid batteries in a spill containment area. The spill containment area must be 110% of the largest container, or 25% of the total volume, and must not be connected to the sanitary sewer or storm drain. Hazardous materials must be kept where vehicles cannot knock them over. If these containment areas are outside, they must be covered. However, if rain collects in spill containment areas, the wastewater must be treated as if it was contaminated and never put down a storm drain. Hazardous waste can be pumped out and stored until pickup by your liquid waste management contractor. If hazardous wastes are placed in your garbage or poured into the sewer or storm drains, they create environmental and public health hazards. If hazardous wastes are placed in the garbage, they could harm garbage workers and damage equipment. At the landfill, rainwater that works its way through the garbage becomes contaminated and enters our sewage system. Most contaminants cannot be removed by sewage treatment and can end up impacting the environment. Non-reusable rags that become contaminated with hazardous liquids should not be placed in the garbage, but must be stored for pickup with your other hazardous wastes. Dirty workwear and oily rags should be washed by a specialized laundry facility that can properly manage oily water or picked up for treatment. Used kitty litter or other absorbent materials used to clean up spills should be stored for pickup with other hazardous wastes, not in the general garbage. For more information, visit www.crd.bc.ca. The CRD, making a difference together.